This episode, we will talk about the methods of cutting out pieces and components to make your live 2D source material. Now, you, by now, you should have your map of screen captures from the anime episode. I first, you need to go to your specific layer, the layer for your base image, select it, right click, and select duplicate layer. And then in under document, the drop down menu, click new and call it the um, source material. And press OK. And you will have yourself a new PSC file opened up with just your base image. Press C or click here on your toolbar to select the crop tool. Select the area that you, you just need. That should be enough. And then double click the magnifying glass to get to 100%. And you will see the whole material that, that you will be working, uh, working on. So there are two ways to cut out pieces. And I will demonstrate how to cut out the, uh, let's say, eyeball, all right? I'm going to first zoom in so I have better control of the area. Now, there are two ways of doing this. If you're completely new to um, the Photoshop and or any F image editing software, you will want to use the polygonal lasso tool. This tool works by clicking on point to point and it always get a straight line out of it. Once you get to the last point, I mean, get back to the original point, it will be completed and you will select yourself an area. And you can drag around to see uh, how it works. It works like that, okay? So very simply, select the eyeball like that. And there you go. Once you select it, Control C, Control V, so copy and paste. And you, you don't notice the difference, but actually you created a, a copy of that area right on top of where it was. So the good thing about this method is that it keeps the positioning. And that saves a lot of time because you don't need to reposition it later. If you accidentally have it, somehow it's not in place, let's say it's over here, right? Or over here. And what you need to do is drag it close to it, close enough, and you can control, you can hold down control and use your arrow key to move it around until it's right on the original spot. If that's still not good enough, you can turn down the opacity of layer. So it's half transparent. And then just move it until it feels like there's no blurred image. And that's how you get back to the original area. So that is method one uh, for creating the clone. Um, the other method is using a pen tool. And for those who are already um, have already learned Adobe Illustrator or has learned this or other vector art uh, tools out there, you probably know how to use this pen tool. All right. The pen tool works differently. It sort of gives you a curve as you draw and it creates a lot of these extra dots and lines and it looks messy at first. But what it actually does is that every dot and line, you can adjust them to the perfect curve that you want it to be. I can even create a random curve here and just put things together in, in place and still um, create the area that I want to select. But obviously this is not the best way to do things. So I press delete twice to completely delete it. And from start, I should draw a dot starting here and then here and here maybe here there and there and there now afterwards i can adjust it by balancing two ends of the curve like there there are a few tricks a few um well a few tips that i can give you uh, first of all um you want there i mean for for jpegs images right these are all pixelated when you zoom in. And as you can see, there are gradients of colors from dark shade to a lighter shade until it's completely vanished. So 
at in when you zoom out, it seems like a an absolute line cutting between two colors. But if you zoom in, it's not really an absolute line. It's really a cluster of shades. So where do you, how much do you select to make your tool? You want to have maybe just 1 to 1.5 pixels out of your selection area. That's sort of the ideal um, coverage that you want for every single part of this line. Remember, hard works only makes it better, all right? So yeah, you can you can just go with a somewhat okay line but or you can you can um, if you're good enough you can use your mouse and your paintbrush tool to remake the lines and make it look uh, smoother if you have too much you start to have white pieces into your eyeball piece and when you're in live 2d when you distort the eyeball you will distort some some parts of the white piece that is like hanging on the side of this part and that's a problem with it. If you don't have enough, or if it's in balance like this, you have a lot of area bleeding out, and this have a lot of area covered, your eyeball would also look weird in Live 2D. It doesn't look weird here, but once you get a Live 2D modeling, and you start to distort the shape of it, you will have a lot of uh, trouble with it, all right? So try to be consistent on how much area you cover uh, over the outlines. So let's say you're okay with this. What you do next is right click and where where's my pen tool? Pen tool. Right click and make selection and then okay. And it should select it for you. Make sure you select the original layer. Control C, Control V, and you should have your new eyeball. Uh, right at the right the correct position same position that it was from so there you go